And here we are. Welcome, everybody. It's finally time for Clock Tower 3, as you can see here. This has been a game we've been putting off doing for a little bit here, but I've been excited and looking forward to it. So we're going to hit new game. We're, we're going to get cozy, and we're going to have fun. Now, as a reminder, this sequel was the one made by uh, Capcom after they bought the Clock Tower IP. All right. Cutscenes for a little bit, so let's get comfy and enjoy them. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years. That makes without sense. Without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you, and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. This looks so Please weird. go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Yay. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello, Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? You hear nothing. Answer me. What do you do? You go home as soon as she as soon as she says that. Good job. Mom, I'm back. You shouldn't be. Mom. Oh. She that's loud. Hang on, hang on. We're still just in the cutscenes. The door opened. Have a look, Alyssa. Um, excuse me. Are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back. At all. Well, that's rude. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. That's very rude. <laughs> that's extra rude. Don't My do that. Sweet Alyssa. Ugh. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! <laughs> this dude is like a Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> British Mr. X. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. I can move. Let's check things out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretching. We just sat down. The stream only just started. Okay. Select is how I check the map there. Vase and that icon. Okay. So, funny thing I should mention. A lot of people point out how weird it is that the protagonist of the last game is also named Alyssa. And that's just like a coincidence because the main character of uh, Struggle Within was Japanese and the localization team named her Alyssa. And I guess for this game, they didn't care about that at all. Diary lies open. You can save the data. Here we go. Just double check that this... Yep, there we go. That save is there just to confirm that this saves properly. Don't want to have to deal with that technical difficulties when we start. Okay, triangle is the back button. This is a 2002 PS2 game, so... I guess at this point they were still using triangle as the back button there. Strange pattern adorns the jar. It's brimming with fresh water. Looks important. Nothing of interest. Excellent. 
But yeah, I believe, like, next to nobody involved with the original Clock Tower games had anything to do with this one. Capcom just kind of bought the IP, and they were just like, let's make another one that has nothing to do with the other games. There we go. Nowadays, this game's kind of obscure, but... Always wanted to give it a go-through, because it has some cool ideas, that's for sure. Oh. All right. Some of the sound effects in this game are definitely pretty loud. Panic meter. Whenever Alyssa is feeling physically or emotionally threatened, the panic meter rises. When the panic meter reaches max, Alyssa falls into a state of panic. While in a state of panic, Alyssa's movements are restricted, and if an attack will in a state of panic, she will die. The panic meter reading will go down slowly if Alyssa relaxes, relaxes in a safe place. Always keep an eye on the panic meter and try to minimize stress whenever possible. Okay. There's a blue sigil preventing entry. Apparently this game, Haunt and uh, Haunting Ground and Resident Evil 4 were in development at the same time. And the devs kind of just shared ideas. Haunting, Haunting Ground's another game I definitely need to give a try sometime. That's a loud jingle. Turn down some. The game seems quiet and then uh, any sound effect plays and then bam. Alyssa, this is my room? My room, nothing's changed. Hang on, before I go to that fireplace. It's locked and will not open. Oh. You got lavender water. That does. This looks like a comfy little TV setup my VCR and my 2002 game console. And this just goes back out here. That fireplace now. Uh, okay, circle is crouch. And I'm stuck. Hang on, I need to move out of there. Too much invisible wall. Okay, good thing I turned it down. It's really loud in my headphones, that's for sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. Looks like a bottle and a letter down there. Sacred bottle. Nancy's letter. Dearest Alyssa, I wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully, but if you're reading this now, you must have come back to the house. For your protection, I'm giving you some advice, as well as instructions on how to use this bottle of holy water. Holy water uses and exorcism. If you ever feel threatened, sprinkle some holy water on your assailant and will cause them to halt temporarily. To break the seals that prevent access to certain places, sprinkle holy water on them. Replenishing holy water. Always remember that the holy water you have is not in limitless supply. You can refill your bottle from either sacred jars or lying drinking fountains. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who has died of unnatural causes has unfinished business in the living world. You, in order to protect yourself, you must work to heal their wounds. To do so, you must find their sentimental item. Lastly, this is all my fault, but I will do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you more than anything else in the world and always will. Mum. Okay. It's the patron saint of the Hamilton house. What's it doing here, though? Okay. Anything else on the ground? Okay, squares for walking. Uh, Mum taught me how to use the holy water. She didn't say what button it was. It's like an attack option, right? So don't just use it from the menu. Locked. Lodgers won't be coming back for a while. There's a blue sigil preventing entry. That's the map button. 
Okay, it's triangle. Some of these sound effects I recognize, like, directly from some Resident Evil games around the same time. The old door has been boarded up. I can't even remember this door being opened. Someone's behind the door. Won't open. Feels as though it's been sealed shut. What does that say? Restroom on the on the door. Okay. Let's get comfy chat. Nancy's door. These are the perfect kind of comfy day games, aren't they? Let's see here. Let's grab this. Welcome, friends. Welcome. That's a picture. The atmosphere. Where's the loud noise? All of the- every cutscene has had a loud noise in it so far. Told me not to, but you shouldn't have. It. I'm so worried about you. She listens. Where are you, Mum? It's a book. It's the Scooby Doo guy. Piano. Who's playing that? She's really freaking out. But not from that? the magic sigil on the door. So something I should mention. This game is infamous for having really over-the-top cutscenes, and apparently the reason for that is I think the game's director was also a movie director. And so it kind of does things, uh, what kind of has like that exaggerated movement that a lot of Japanese movies hear from what I'm to I've been told. They really went like ham with the motion capture for some cutscenes as well, from what I understand. Should have taken the book and the knife. Maybe I should have. Where are we? Oh! Now we're in Raccoon City! Like, look at her move. I'm sure they were really proud of that mocap for the time, though. It's 2002, so... Anyways, what in the hell's going on? Though those explosions look so It's like someone just copy and pasted uh explosion gif on top of it. That's funny. Whoa. Piano. I've never played this game all the way through. I've always wanted to. I recently did uh in the past couple months, I did play through all the other Clock Tower games. They were fun. Struggle Within is uh, an experience, though. That's for sure. You can kick cans. Something is holding the door closed. All right. How's the audio, chat? I keep having to, like, adjust it on the fly because I don't want y'all to get jump-scared like me. That guy okay? Fusa Fusa? <laughs> Spooky. The ring, give me back my ring. 
Uh, that's can. Engagement ring. Spiritual healing. When you find a sentimental item that belongs to a person who died of unnatural causes, return it to its rightful owner. If it is a ring, put it in its case. If it's a half-heart pendant, put it together with the other half. By returning the sentimental item, spirits are healed, and Alyssa may obtain another item or valuable information. Like, listen to this page-turning sound. It's, like, directly from, like, Resident Evil 1, or, like, the remake. Like, it's, it's the same sound effect. I recognize that anywhere. Okay. Put the ring in the box, then. Easy enough. Explosion. It looks as though he was burnt by something. An empty ring box. Did someone steal the ring from him? Uh, alleviates panic. Okay, so this is like a health item. That's what that was. All right. Sigil stone. Chat, if you ever find my corpse and I become a ghost that haunts you, just look for the Teddy Ursa plush and I'll leave you alone. I hope I did some good. Just return the Teddy Ursa plush and I'll be as happy as can be. It's a drinking fountain shaped like a lion. You can save the game, refill your holy water bottle here. Uh, let's refill first. What if a killer ghost has taken over the bear? Well, it sounds like you got yourself a boss fight on your hands, player. Okay, you save on one here. The movement feels a bit weird in this because, um, ignore that top thing up there, by the way. Just like in Silent Hill 3, ignore that. Because it's not tank controls, and I don't seem to have the option to even do tank controls, but I have to ad immediately adjust when it the camera changes. Look at that. I can hear a piano. Is it coming from the hall over there? Oh. Can't just jump down. I can see a sparkly over there. Okay. So I might as well refill it while I'm next to the thing. That is the world's loudest piano, yeah. This is why I have the volume, like, way lower than normal, and it still feels like it's a bit too loud. Alright, let's go refill again. Luckily, saves aren't limited, at least. Excellent. Let's go. I'm not even sure if this game is the same universe as the other ones. What we got down here? Is that a door? No. I see a ghost. It's covered in bloodstains, a victim's belongings. The entry begins, my darling, must be addressed to her fiancé. Uh-oh. Okay. I guess I can't go that way, maybe. Oh. Oh, there's just ghosts everywhere. Yo, go away. I can't, like, dodge around you here. Well, I guess that's the best I can do. Look at that. You got a gold fountain pen. Uh, I guess so. I give them this so they can continue writing? Yeah. Jeez. That camera angle with that amount of space to move is not good for dodging. I can always run back up and heal, but... Or wait, no, the save thing doesn't heal me. Covered in blood stains, victims' belongings. All right. We'll take an attack on your behalf just once. 
I guess it only works when I'm in panic mode, though. Okay, this works. I have ascended. Invisibility band. Why do I get the feeling that's not going to work for me? Rest in peace. It's is it snowing now. Okay. Where am I still? By the way, when am I? I think it's pretty clear. I I did the time warp back there. All right. Okay. So the panic meter goes down over time. That's good. That's good. It allows me to make mistakes and not have to worry about crap. Okay, the, uh, clothing store. Ah, yes, my favorite brand name store. Next to Norton's Tailors. Okay, that's that. Is there anything on the ground outside I can pick up? Okay, so there's a gate there. Imposing gate prevents anyone from entering. Well, thank you for the raid there, mine, and we just started. I think there was another horror game that was also directed by, like, a movie director. I think it was that Wii game based on The Grudge. It was basically like a, like a glorified walking simulator, though, with jump scares, from what I understand. I remember YouTubers would play it back in the day. It was kind of fun to look at, but I don't think I'd want to play that myself. I wish it was snowing outside for me. Okay... Lavender water. Okay, I got these. I don't know when I'm gonna find a fountain again. This is a hiding spot. I sure hope it's not as uh, see-through from the outside as it is on the inside, because that would be a very bad change room. Jew on the Grudge is like a uh, haunted house simulator. Yeah, that's a better way to describe it. Dad's letter. Dear May, how are you? I am now in France, in the region known as Champagne. It is a beautiful place with uh, with vineyards or vineyards as far as the eye can see. When the war is over, we must come here together for a holiday. I hear that they have organized they have organized for blackouts in London now. I'm sure you are fine during the day as Jane is there, but I worry about you being alone at night. You'll be all right, won't you, darling? Keep warm. Organized blackouts. Is that like... Is that like something they d they would do during the nighttime so that, like, you know, planes wouldn't be able to target stuff during wartime? I think that was something they did. That's the, all I can assume that means it's for. Yep, okay. Let's check the other door first before I go upstairs. Seems to be locked from the other side. Okay. We're in the wartime, chat. The wartime. Okay, two ways to go. One of these again. Oh, no reason not to unlock it. I hope there's another fountain nearby. Or I'm gonna have to run back to the uh, other one. I worry about having to do tedious stuff over and over. There was also those, like, uh, the jars of water. Are those around here? Where's the monster at? Oh, blood! It must be nearby! Oh, hey, there's more on the floor. Teddy's getting so messy with all that strawberry jam. It's locked and will not open. Alright, then. Christmas tragedy, young pianist brutally murdered. Christmas Day, 1942. Uh, Paul May Norton, age 12, was found murdered in the Taylor. She was discovered by Norton family nanny, Jane Stride, who returned home to find the victim unconscious, a bleeding from the head. An autopsy revealed that it was an instantaneous death caused by a blow to the skull with a heavy blunt object. 
No suspects have been named. Victim had taken part in the 15th annual piano concourse at the Victoria Hall in Kensington the previous day. A consummate pianist, Miss Norton was widely tipped for the first prize, but unfortunate error in her performance prevented her from taking the crown. May had been living at home alone since her father, William Norton, a serving officer, returned to the, the front in July. I like how they had to throw in the fact that she lost a competition. That was necessary. <laughs> Thanks for the piece up there, friend. Well. Oh no! Oh no! Is that the ghost? Or is this when the plot happens? That's a blunt object, chat. Oh. Whoa, no. I can see that. Boy, do I wish I went back and saved now. Alyssa. Alyssa. Evade points and hide points. When Alyssa is fleeing from an enemy, certain predetermined areas may start to glow. These are evade points and hide points. Approach an area and press the search button to make Alyssa take evasive action and repel her attacker. Note that most evade points can only be used once. Press the search button when in front of a hide point and Alyssa can take refuge there. The camera will switch to a first person view while hiding. Hide points can be used repeatedly, but if the panic meter reaches max while hiding, Alyssa will run out from her hiding place. Yeah, that's a smart idea, Alyssa. Always keep an eye on the panic meter while hiding. Uh. Oh. Can't open this without a tool. Oh, that's blocked off? Come on, that looks like the floor is free. I'm gonna troll to run there first. Open the door. Run, chat. This man does not deserve a bear. He's gonna see me go in there. Let's go outside. So, like... Oh, no, no I'm not safe out here. You're mine now. That's a very crusty filter. Oh, this is a dead end, that's right. Can you hit on the stairs? Ow, he can. Okay, he seems to take a few seconds to load into a room for the sake of me hiding, so... Okay. Wait for him to leave. Wait for him to leave. His voice clips sound like crustier than like a PS1 voice clip. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I guess he's gone. Okay, I feel like I should run back and refill my water and save. It would really suck to die and have to do like, go through all the cutscenes and read it again. They intentionally put the seals and stuff there to make it so I had one thing left during that part for sure. I don't know if he can follow here. Guess we'll find out. Explains why there's two paths in this section here. Let's just run. Why is that piano still going? I thought the child died. Oh wait, it's up here.
First, let's refill. Alright, so I should go ahead and try and use it a bit more when I see him again. I took damage while he was chasing me, but it's not a big deal since it heals relatively quickly. It seems like it's gonna really punish you if you just, like, keep taking hits in a short amount of time for sure, though. Those cans are probably gonna be, like, a noise thing that attracts chasers, isn't it? Oh. I guess he... I, I get, did the cans really just do that? The cans really just did that, didn't they? I can easily just go to the change room again, so I could just tank a hit and run by him. Just scratch the back of my head there. Is he up? Or down? That sound seems to mean that he's left the area. Okay. Let's go back to the tailor. Hang on. What was blocking me from going this way? I didn't go over here yet. Oh, I thought there was another fountain for some reason. Okay. Oh, there's another fountain right here. Damn, I didn't see it. Well, no reason not to save again. Was there something blocking that bridge before? I'm not even sure. My phone is going off. Do I have a spam call? Yeah, I have a spam call. <laughs> Great. Good thing I remembered to mute it this time. I feel like I just didn't see that bridge before. Clearly, I had to go in there and activate him, though. Maybe it wouldn't let me move here until he was found. We'll see. There could still be items in that part over there, but we'll see. Okay. What's that? A leaflet. Christmas Eve, 42, 15th annual piano. That's probably a can. There's a sign pinned to the wall. Entry by invitation only, the management. Oh, he's here. Is, it, is the door locked, or do I gotta get a piece of paper? Okay, then, I guess I just gotta dodge the killer. Where's he at? Oh, where's... Ah, uh, where is he? Oh, he doesn't see me! Can I outrun him? Oh, he sees me. Uh, okay. Come on. Run, Alyssa, run! Okay, let's go back to the change room. There's probably an invitation somewhere in here. Okay. Uh-oh. Stay away. Stay away. Teddy's only. Alyssa, where are you? Ooh. He's going. Leave. Okay. So the question now is, how does his AI work? Does he have, like, memory of what areas he's in, like, other games? Or is it, like, Clock Tower, where he just despawns until he's activated again? We'll see. 
Okay, now let's go in here. Okay, closet's probably for hiding. Or not. And check it. Records look quite old. Oh! That's probably gonna attract him. Clever game, I'll give you that. This must be the owner of the house. There's a key next to it. Red drawer key. There was a red drawer where I... In the cutscene where I activated the mallet man. I didn't check it, but... More than enough uh, books on the classics here. Desk is clean and well organized. Probably hide under the bed. But nothing seems to activate when I check it, so... That, those door sound effects are also right from Resident Evil. It okay, looks like he probably just despawned somewhere. I hope. Locked and will not open. Red drawer. One of the drawers is locked. Here we go. Maze room key. Guest book and some papers are scattered around. Oh. Oh! <sighs> really wish I found this door first. I thought the door was gonna was the razor wire door. My sense of uh, direction was completely warped there. Oh well. I ran to the complete wrong way when he when he started chasing me. Blood. What's that? There's a diary. May's Diary. 5th December. Today I darned daddy's socks and sewed a button on his shirt. He calls himself a tailor, but he can't even mend his own clothes. Please, daddy. I'm not your wife. Only a few more days until the concourse, and I still can't play it perfectly. What am I to do? I know daddy's wishing me well from far away, so I must try my best. Don't worry, daddy. I'll make you proud. That's some weird, like, reading music. It was from, like, quiet to be, like, dun 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 Invitation. Alisa. Who are you, and how do you know my name? Escape route's been blocked. What do I do? The glowy thing? Oh, chat, we're giving him the chair. We're gonna give him the chair. Let's go. That beats Hammer. He did not care. Uh, but that worked, apparently. Damn, he's really injured. He gotta recover from that tackle. That's a, That girl, like, oh, that 15-year-old girl just tackled that beast. <laughs> he's down. It's over here. He's, okay, he's still recovering. Damn, I did some damage. I got the invitation. Let's roll. I didn't even need to sprinkle anything on him this time. I haven't needed to sprinkle anything, really. Oh, well, he's back. Alisa. Yes. I'm gonna guess this won't let me save right now. Well, what do you know? The hammer doesn't damage my health, it just damages my mental state, apparently. And that just recovers with a couple minutes of- Oh, he's teleporting! That's what that is! He's just- Oh, he gave up? Okay. Right. Like, yeah, he's just straight up teleporting with that. That's weird. Probably because they don't want him to interrupt this cutscene, so he gives up here.
if he can teleport, why does he need to, like, mess with a hammer? That, okay, it's a symbolic butterfly or something. Uh-oh. Must require a special key. Alright. I still don't know what the hell's going on. We might as well save again. Why not? There's no reason not to save, I suppose. Takes a couple seconds. I get an infinite amount. Ignore that text on the top of your screen. You see nothing. Good teddies can't see that. Okay. Nothing else here. Seems to be off limits. Really now? Really now? It's off limits. I guess I'll just die if the serial killer chases me down here. What about here? Wouldn't want to break the rules, chat. The theater. Those seats look so uncomfortable. People in the 40s just did not invent comfy chairs yet, apparently. Bloody. She is so spooked of that piano. You okay? Y'all right? Would you like some cocoa? Or teddy? <laughs> oh my god. You are killing the mood. Just push him again. Can't handle that. Okay. Where'd all that blood go? I'm stuck on the chair? Great. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I got stuck on the chair. Okay. I'm not gonna use the item. What's this? Can't use it. Turn. Okay, I'm good. Uh, where is he? Did he just, like, stop chasing me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good golly. Alright. Fine, come here. I'll, I'll throw some water at him. Sure is nice when the wait for the panic to end. You just kick my loafers there. Did, uh, 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 did he leave? Can he not come backstage? Damn, even he respects the off limits rules too. Torso has been crushed. What a horrible death. He's holding something. Note is scribbled on a tiny scrap of paper. Safe combination. Ba bad. Babe, dead. Uh, okay. Alright, so A equals uh, 0, uh, B equals 1, D equals 3, so it's uh, 0, 1, 3. Here we go. Or sorry, uh, yeah, pardon me, 1, 0, 3. I... I I knew it was, but I said it wrong out loud when I verbalized it. Yeah. Hydrate. Let me get a sip of my cocoa. I'd get you, Alyssa, but the sign said no entry. Seems to be off limits. He may be a monster, but at least he respects the off limits rules. Okay. Look at that. I'm pretty much at full health again. I'm gonna go back and, to, and save again. 
I get the feeling that running back to the save point is going to be a very helpful strategy. Diary lies open, save game. Has it really been 45 minutes? Damn, we can go already going for a bit. All right, chat. And these PS2 two horror games are comfy. They always got a little bit of jank to them that you got to work around with, but they're, they're comfy. I've always said I, I like I missed out on this era of, of games because I didn't really have a PS2 and I loved horror games. Cloakroom lockers with combination locks that might be useful. Oh, geez, that's zoom in. Sparkle. Master key. Cool how that's 3D instead of just an image. Not that the other look bad or anything. Oh, he's here. Must require a special key. Use master key? Alright, I can leave now. I could probably open other doors as well. If I go in and out, will he be there? I wonder how the spawn works. Holy crap, that worked. Damn. What's that? Lavender water. Which door? Has to come through the one I did. Is this the only place to go here? No, there was a door over this way. Must require a special key. There we go. Hi, welcome. Uh... Oh, that looks ominous. It's not off limits to me. Melissa's scared of the piano, but not questioning what she's doing in, in like, the 1940s priorities. There doesn't seem to be anything strange here. Lavender water. Mum was right. We should have stayed away. It's a weird waiting room. Let's keep checking upstairs. Is he up here, or what? Some sort of stage device has been lowered. I can't get through. I have to go back and raise it? It burns, Alyssa! It burns. <laughs> I like that yelp he gave when I did that. I can go outside and refill my water whenever I want now, so that's whatever. Backstage again, or up uh, towards the stage first, please. She's playing the piano so earnestly. What is she trying to express? It said she mess made a mistake. Is she still making the mistake right now? Probably gotta help her with that. All right, let's put that back up. I'm gonna get whatever is up top there, and then I'm gonna go refill water and save again. That seems like a good idea. Piano. Let's go over here. Not a lot of places to run around. I sure don't want the guy with the giant hammer chasing me around. Okay. Uh oh. You're mine now. It's too dangerous. Dark and dangerous to cross. Lantern is not lit. Wait, what? Really? I gotta light this before I can- come on. Alright then. 
I guess I gotta go hunting for another item first. I still got water. Before I do that up there, I should probably save. I imagine going the other way down here will probably lead me to that lighter. Let's have a look, chat. <laughs> what? That was cheap. How was I supposed to react to that? I could not. <laughs> okay. Just instantly almost dead. <sighs> okay. Uh-oh. He just, he popped out of nowhere, chat. He popped out of nowhere. Fountain's down over there. Let's just go to it. Unwind a little bit. And then save. Oh, he's coming. There we go. He smacked me like the instant the camera angle changed. I'm not even sure if I was just unlucky or if that was like a scripted thing. He hit me and there was like jack shit I could do about it. <laughs> Where's he coming from? Will he teleport away? I can see his hammer wandering there. I wonder if this would work. Nope. Camera change there. Run! Don't want to waste more water. I made it. Okay, made it back in. Save again. We're gonna save like this is an RPG Maker game. Let's just save us, save at any point within a matter of seconds. That's what we're gonna do. Dear Diary, today I almost died again. That's why I'm writing, just in case it happens. Chatty's coming. Chat, hold your plushies. He's coming to get us. It's rude. It's mean. Don't do it again. I guess I'm going up here since he's chasing me. Hide spot up here, please. Oh, locker. Come on, come on, come on. Is it too late? Am I far enough away? Wow. Wow, she just like vanished right in front of me. How did that happen? That girl is just invisible. Is that what the invisibility band did? I'm just, wait, I didn't actually check what that does. Hang on a second. Oh, it's a consumable. Oh, it literally makes me invisible for a little bit. I didn't even need to do- I didn't even need to do that. That's apparently just a regular game mechanic. Alright, let's wait for him to go. Is my panic meter going- Oh my god, he's back. Now wait just a minute. If she went in there and- Oh, oh hang on. Okay. He just, he teleported again. He had to come back in here to do that. He didn't want anyone to see him. Okay. 
Imagine running out of water, uh, splashing on that guy and realizing you gotta go back and get more from outside for this. I gotta keep, like, one thing of water on me at all times, apparently. Okay, we're up here. And he's somewhere. It seems to be off limits. Oh, darn. Could be a gun in there to help me, but fight's off limits. It's off limits, chats. Are these, like... What are those, like, bands? They can't be speakers. Are they? I don't know. Oh, damn. Off limits again. I'm gonna put one of these in front of my house. It'll be safe for the rest of my life. Where does this go? Wait. It's locked on the other side. Okay. It's open. Okay. I wonder who invented this instrument anyway. That That's a really random question to ask yourself in this situation. Matches. XYZ matches. Ooh, we can exceed some in a freaking fire monster. Sick. Nothing else here. How many are, is it going to be one of those things where it says there's like uh one in there? Let's find out. Invitation Master He should open most doors, not the off limits one. Expensive looking matches used to light something. Okay. Damn, off limits. These little off-limit things are, um... What was going on? They're like... They're like the broken lock... Broken lock doors from Silent Hill. Oh! I'm almost dead again. He hit me while I stood there and did nothing. Let's go. <laughs> that scream. Alright. You all, like, you all saw him hit me with the hammer while I just stood there, right? Uh, hang on. Can I go in here? I guess not still. No, he opened the wall for it. Invisibility band. Okay, bong goes there. Imagine if the evade points had QTEs. Man, if this game came out just like three, four years later, it would. It absolutely freaking would have had, wouldn't it? Is there anything in the middle here? No, I can't walk down. That would be... Damn, I just remember the era when every game had quick time events and it was the most annoying thing ever. It was like one of those trends where everybody like in like upper management or whatever like, yeah, this is popular. Just put it in your game. Just put it in the game. Oh. Wow. He reacted fast to that. Okay, that did not work that time. I'll give him credit. He smartened up. Calmly open the door. <laughs> they did say it would work probably once. Okay, let's just chill. All right, let's just chill. Oh, it, all right, wow, that was a quick chill. Damn, asking ye shall receive. All of a sudden, Alyssa just went like, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I am absolutely fine now. Just gonna brush my hair. Uh, what did I get from all that again? Right, the matches. I gotta go back. 
Having done all that, though, I think I'm gonna go back to the diary up front and save. <laughs> That's... Dude! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. What do I expect? I don't even have any money. <laughs> that was so unfair. He just... Like, what, what? What do I do when that happens? That's mean, yeah. I agree, that's freaking really mean. I gotta go save. Let's hope he goes away. <laughs> Maybe I should go refill my water since I'm going to the front again. Yeah, I think I should refill the water as well. He double kicked me. I was literally stun locked. I couldn't do anything because I was still in the first stun animation. <laughs> he low kick stunned me. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's go fill up on water because if I have to splash him one more time and there's another sigil, I'm going to have to go back anyway, and that would be worse. And that whole action just straight up, like, filled my meter as well. I could splash him and then just instantly refill and run run around him. I don't think he can do anything about that. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, come here. Alyssa, I see you. He saw me in the locker, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, he teleported away. Okay. Go back inside. It seems like if he, um, looks around a certain place for long enough, he just kind of, like, teleports away. It's probably like a failsafe mechanic in case the AI just like gets stuck or something that can get like timed out. I suppose that would make sense. All right, now let's save again. So I'm back in here and at uh, full health. At least my health recovers fast from those cheap moments, but holy crap, when that happens, it's like so rude. He just yeeted that frickin' door in my face and then hit me. <laughs> I was, all, like, just about dead. Okay, so now I need to go back up and use the matches so I can climb uh, across the board, because it was too dark, apparently. He was up this way. Yeah, it is also... He probably also teleports away to let me, like, hide more successfully, I suppose. Alright, he's behind me. Okay. Now I can see things. Oh god, now... What are the controls on this? Do I just like... Ah! What do, what do I do? Do I just let go of the controller when that happens? Legit question, because I'm pretty sure I die, right? This was like the thing in the attract mode on the title screen. I, I don't, I don't want to mess it up. I think letting go of the control stick worked. Huh? Okay, it seems to be working. Just let go of the control stick. When that happens... Controller is rumbling as well. I'm assuming it's instant death, so... Wire cutters? Oh, I know where to use those.
pliers. Same thing. Just let go. What? I fell through the piano. I let go. That's what I did, and I just fell anyway. <laughs> Was I like, did I walk onto it wrong or something? Damn it. Yeah, continue. What does that mean? Last save or last room? Okay, last save. Yeah, this is why I'm saving frequently in case horror game crap like this happens. I, I let go of the control stick the same way I did the all the other times, so I don't know why I just fell there. That's why I was really concerned in case it had some jank to it. Well, we'll have to, I made it across it one way. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, he's coming again. I don't think he can get me, though. Oh. I genuinely let go of it. I'm not making excuses, I swear. I, I'm genuinely worried I'm not going to be able to get, make the trip back. Like, what happened? Okay. So I actually have a bit of 3D movement on this, so maybe I walked onto it on the way back incorrectly. Let go. Go. The game's just not going to consistency. So we can just blame the game. Okay. I want to hear a speedrunner tell me this part sucks. That's how I know it's broken. If the speedrunner says it's broken, you you know it's true. Go. <sighs> so nerve wracking. You got pliers. Okay, so I think my problem is the way I walked on at the beginning. Because I am still moving in a 3D way, it's just really weird. It's hard to explain. Let go. Okay, I didn't fall this time. I might have just been so close to the edge and the wobble animation just takes you just off it! I'm letting go every single time. Oh, okay. I accidentally, like, it went down a tiny bit. Come on. Mm. Okay, it's done. Yeah, that, that is really awkward. <laughs> Got it done. What are you doing, Mr. Butterfly thing? Imagine if the dead zone of the controllers messed up. Oh god, that would suck. Uh Yep. Hey that butterfly's there. Can't check it. Did the butterfly just lead him to me? I can refill my water on the trip back. So, this is fine. Casually open the door. Why the butterfly is going there? What are they doing? No, 
know, it should be safe to just get to the... Hang on, wait a second. Now, let me save here first. Just in case, you never know. Save as often as you can. Those butterflies got me worried. Okay, just gotta go back to the tailor shop, right? He's already hobbling out. I still don't know what ha have any idea how he knows my name. No, I didn't want to save again. I want to refill. Hello, friend. Welcome. Okay. I hear the butterflies again. Are they moths? I can't really tell, honestly, in these graphics. Okay. Ah! I tried to pause the game. And that didn't go in, and that happened instead. Damn it. The pliers was over there. I can't get them now. Just run for it. I gotta run around back to the change room. Maybe in and out the door. Seems like he's gotten faster, yeah. Okay, that worked. Go, go, go. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. You see you didn't see a thing. Elisa, where are you? Guess I'll just leave. Okay. Why is the music? You're mine now. Elisa, where are you? <laughs> Should have waited for the music to go. <laughs> Should have waited for the music to go. <laughs> Right then. I thought it was safe because he left, but the music was still going, and then he just popped it open and was like, I see you now. But that fabric just made me super invincible. Invisible. Yes, please. All right, now what's this? Piano must have been used for practicing on... Something on the table. There's nothing inside. Just a cozy fire going on. What's this? Carved wooden box. Open it. Whoa! So if I give her this, will she finally play the song correctly? And I can move on, because her ghost is happy? I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Daddy, you're home early. Hank, There's a loud truck outside. Something important. Daddy's going off to war. No. I hate the thought of leaving you here all alone. I feel dreadful. I'll be all right. But what about you? You'll miss me and be sad when you're in war, won't you? Yes, yes I will. You're the most precious thing to me in the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. 
The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the war. That would be wonderful. The competition will be stiff, but if you go to your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do it. I'll practice every day. I've already chosen the piece I'm going to play. Listen. She doesn't sound like 12, no. You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve so you can think of Mummy and me. Then it'll be like we're all together again. Oh dear. Jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's not very wholesome. Pocket watch. Still more inside. Hammer killer hanged. Oh, I I don't believe he has been. Tenth <laughs> of September forty one. Robert Morris thirty two. The man known as the Hammer Killer has been hanged. Rumors regarding Morris's death are widespread. One witness reported he was hanging for a very long time, pulling on the straps and making unearthly noises. Oh, that explains the voice. And blood was oozing through the black cap. The stench was terrible. Some witnesses fainted and were carried out. Morris's first victim was Tony Flanagan, 35, a fellow employee at the Banbury Stone Cutting Factory. On the 6th of June, 1940, Morris suddenly struck Flanagan on the head with a hammer, killing him instantly. All five workers present were killed in the same manner. Morris disappeared thereafter. A string of similar crimes occurred until the time of Morris's arrest on the 6th of March in Arlington. Arlington? Am I saying that right? Hampshire. Morris's victims numbered 12 and no clear motive has been determined. Specialists continue to be baffled by the seemingly abrupt change in his behavior as well as the extreme violence of his crime. We asked the specialists what they thought and they're like, damn, that's wild. The guy just took a hammer and killed people? Like, I don't know what to say about that. I guess I'm not, I'm not much of a specialist after all. Maybe I can save May if I get her father's pocket watch to her. I have to take the pocket watch to the concert hall. All right. You got plushies? Good. Give him a hug. Make your day cozy. Cozier than anybody that had to deal with the hammer guy. Any minute now, he's gonna pop out. This family did not have a good time. They did not have a good time at all. You say it like Hampshire? Is it the British way of saying it? There we go. Make a quick save here. Too bad I can't just splash into this water on my face to relieve myself. Reduce the panic meter. I have been struck with the hammer multiple times, but according to the game, I am, I am uninjured for this adventure. Okay, we're coming up. Oh yeah, this is the wacky part, isn't it? He's gonna get you. Boss battles. Oh, yeah, this is the 
this is the thing this game is pretty well known for. Move in Alyssa, move left analog stick, duck, shoot an arrow with that, change, arrow, hold down, triangle, super attack, hold down when enemies transfix. So these are also kind of infamously a little janky too, aren't they? Battle strategy one, in order to defeat the enemy, Alyssa must transfix it. By hitting the enemy with the charged arrow, holding down, triangle the charge, it's impossible, or it's impossible to fix them to the spot. Several strategically placed chains will transfix the target. Aim to the chains fan up from the target who should be in the center. While the enemy is transfixed, Alyssa is able to carry out a super attack. It's no easy task, however, to hit the target with the arrow. Watch the enemy's movements closely and wait for your chance. Duck can be used to avoid attacks by certain enemies. It may also cause them to become careless and vulnerable to attack. Press the R1 button to use a special arrow, such as a repellent arrow and order... In the order in which they were obtained, it is wise to save these weapons for special occasions. I absorbed, like, some of that. Charge arrow, super attack, hold down when enemies transfixed, special attack, R1, shoot arrow. Okay. The charged arrow. Okay, so charge and then charge again, apparently, for the super attack. Let's, we'll get through this. I just saved. I just saved, so we'll figure this out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why does this happen? I don't get it. Sledgehammer. Victims, 26. Sentence to 400, er, uh, zero years. Judgment. All right. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, too far. I see. This is something I know about this game because it's very, very, very silly. so confused everyone is I knew about this part and I'm still super confused oh I can't walk over that I don't fully get this keep hitting with the charge arrow Oh, does it charge even more than this? Doesn't seem like it. I guess I gotta get his health down first. Is this part too loud, chat? Do I need to turn it down? didn't say that. It said R1 was for the... What's this now? Wait, what? Didn't it say R1 was for the repellent arrow? And that was limited? That's how I finish him? I 
I cast light magic. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. Okay. I I got him. I guess R1. I I thought R1 was for the uh, other thing. Oh well. All that matters is we got through it. I cast holy. The Clover of Love. Oh! My Max, uh, Holy Water is four now. You came back to see this? Yeah. I imagine a lot of people, especially in the comments, are gonna be like, what the hell did they, were they thinking with this? So it's like, okay guys, we're making Clock Tower 3. I should make a save. You know that series about the guy who chases you around with a giant scissors? We're gonna reinvent it. We're gonna do something new. We're gonna do something fresh and, and, and uh, exciting. Hey, what the, what's that on the TV over there? Oh, that's just Sailor Moon, sir. I like it. I want that in my game right now. Are you, are you sure? Like, you, that doesn't seem like they go together exactly. Horror is about the unexpected. They'll never see it coming. <laughs> Also, I want a British main character right now. I got your watch. You better be grateful. I went through a lot for this, I'll have you know. I could have grabbed her a change of clothes while you were at it, Alyssa. May, your father is dead. <laughs> there was an explosion. A shell. Time and place, Alyssa. Time and place. So sorry. Please don't cry. I understand how you feel. I never even knew my father. I lost him soon after I was born. But I love my grandfather just the way you love your father. I don't think she cares, Alyssa. Keep this watch as a memento of your father and continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. You know that would make him happy. All right, she's over it. Well, ju well done, protagonist. Is that him? Daddy! Oh, hey! Stairway to heaven! Thank you, May. Your beautiful playing has brought me back to you. Wow! At last, we can be together again. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, May. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. This is happening right now. <laughs> she just falls over dead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. It was all a dream. Uh oh, I'm losing connection to chat. I need to see everyone's reactions, though. Have I been dreaming? There you are. It was all a dream. Save game, Dana? You know I will. Okay. So, after the first part is when things start to get even more exaggerated in the cutscenes, I think. Keep saving. Gets even more senseless as it goes on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens. My dude, you, my dude, you okay? Phew, I was a goner for sure. 
Just flailing around. I see, Alyssa. I haven't seen you since we were in primary school together. It must be three years. What do you think you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. I'll put my controller down. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always has this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her? When? And where? Calm down, calm down. Yesterday <laughs> no, morning, your he drove by in car. Oops. <laughs> and she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't back in time. She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Hey, Alyssa, you've really changed since I last saw you. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well, Everybody keeps running around. Like grown up too, Dennis. Okay. Oh, come on. That was then and this is now. Wait a minute, would you? <laughs> Why does this whole party just keep shaking? <laughs> okay. Dick's room key. <laughs> I'm laughing like a child after all this now. Was this game um dubbed in English or uh, Japanese first? I know it's a Japanese game, but like a lot of the Resident e early Resident Evils were only released with English voice acting. So I'm wondering what they decided to do for this one. Anyone know? Nothing of interest here. I imagine since they were really, really into like uh, the idea of using like the early mocap technology for this, they probably went with the uh, Japanese to sync everything better. You see the title, but you don't know what this game is. I know, it's it's weird. It's locked. Okay, let me check the key itself. Uh, jewel shaped like a clover leaf has strange powers. What item did I lose here? The pliers? Key to grandfather's room. Uh, where was that? I don't know if I've seen it. Maybe it's downstairs? Wasn't that door? That leads over to... There was the boarded up door and there was also a sigil door. Can I do anything with those now though? Have they changed? Oh! Sigil's blue now. Door's been boarded up. Hang on, maybe there's something in here. Yo! Yo, that's not nice. Someone died. Oh, there's a whole skelly in here! A dead body in here of all places. How would you not smell that? Like, no, no, I'm sorry. That You would smell that. That whole body rotted into the bathtub. The whole country would smell this from outside. One of the lodgers? You. What a stink. Go away, ghost. I guess I gotta find something for you, but, uh... Not right now. I'm stuck. That just leads to Nancy's room. But let me get my panic meter down. Don't suppose anything new spawns in here that I can pick up. Oh. Uh... Okay. And there's another painting stuck under the first one. One with the clock doing that. Clock has stopped ticking. Need special winding keys. Alright, well now I know there's something I need to do here in anyway, but... Mom's bed. Wait. Wait, so I was in Alyssa's room when I woke up. But I heard the piano playing in this room, so I guess I moved there in my dream adventure. I don't know what the toilet ghost wants. We'll find out later. I'm hope I'm assuming the vase is infinite water refills. I hope. I'm guessing I gotta check downstairs, so let's go look around there. What about that kitchen where I saw the spooky guy? It wasn't locked before. Who could have locked it?
It's filled with art and antiques. Grandfather used to collect that kind of thing. Locked. Lodgers won't be coming back for a while. Uh, is this it? All right. Ooh, he's got a whole ass library. I respect it. God, I want a room like this so badly. He has a painting of himself in his own library. Even I wouldn't do that. I just put up like a poster of an anime girl or something just for the hell of it. Grandfather. Have some class, my dude. There's a scribbled note. The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. What could that mean? There are some old books to one side. Book of Entities, one. Entities have existed in the human realm since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with utter ruthlessness and cruelty, and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderer does not break the circle of evil. The possessed is resurrected to continue the bloodthirsty mission. Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul, and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an inf infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. Only certain humans are equipped to fight entities and their subordinates, the rooters. Rooters who are always young women in their teens have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. This is like the plot of like the trashiest anime of the season. Entities? Rooters? Teenage girls who stand against the forces of darkness? I like how that says Rooters clearly with a U. What's that? A book. Look. Entity? What's an entity? And the Ruders? It clearly said it with a U. It wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she yes. was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she traveling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner. <laughs> He's going to be our wacky sidekick that I'm going to, like, not enjoy his presence for most of the game, am I? All these old books, what was he studying? All these old books, what was he studying? Check out these masks, chat. They're unnerving. Looks like a mask used to hang here. Okay, so I need to find another mask to put there, huh? A scribbled note. The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. So behind me, is there a... Is there a key for that clock? An order from the camera shop. Somebody bought lots of film. These old books. Drawer is locked. behind me but there's nothing back here something else here I need there's something hidden behind the picture frame that was not behind me <laughs> okay 
In fact, it was on something that was just kind of out of view there. All these old books, what was he studying? Well, I guess I got what I need. Let's go up top. Hey everybody, it's me, Dennis. I'm the lovable sidekick. Hey there, Alyssa. Are you single? Gosh golly, I am a lovable sidekick. I'm sure Dennis has a long life ahead of him. It was a picture of me, was it? But wait, was I checking the pit? I wasn't checking the grandpa's picture. I don't know. I found the keys, that's all that matters. Now I gotta dodge the ghost. I'm still very concerned by, like, the human soup in that bathtub. I did check the picture on the mantle. It didn't look like from where I was standing. Another painting stuck under the first one. Okay. Winding keys might, might just work on the clock. Um... Uh... Oh, it's gonna move a set amount of time? Okay, it's not gonna work right. Two of these. Okay. There we go. There's a secret door there. Okay. And the pain stuck on the first one. I, I don't know, it just looks weird. That picture like looks like either hand could be there. Whatever. Portal squares. Drawing the portal square as instructed is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with the light may the practitioner expect groundbreaking results. Okay. Paper is with geometric patterns. Scatter the desk. There are all kinds of books about witchcraft and hexes. Strange medicine bottles stand in a line. There's windows for this place. Strange medicine bottles. So I got a strange pattern on the ground. What on earth was mummy doing here? Am I able to walk in the center? Okay, I can. But let me just sprinkle some water on it. Make sure I'm the right distance. Does it need more? I think I had two left. Okay. Oh gosh, where am I now? A large container, it's been left outside and is corroded. Oh, gosh. Where am I now? All right. I'm back from my break. Let's continue with this. I want to see where this game goes. Well, I know exactly where it's going. It's going off the rails, and it's causing a beautiful disaster. Hang on. Is there an item? Oh, there is. Can't go around for that, though. Let's refill. 
And let's make a save, because you never know what's going to show up. This game is an experience, that's for sure. Ghost Town. Kind of ghost. Hmm. Uh-oh. I see a teddy. A teddy bear. Oh, chat, we gotta rescue the little friend. You're not gonna let me pass, are you? Let's check the bear. Badly burnt teddy. Was it a present to somebody? No! The teddy's burned. So I gotta find where this goes, or you're not gonna let me pass, I imagine. You're clearly standing there to block the way. It's crumpled up newspaper article in the corner. Family tragedy. Mother and son in acid bath shocker. Uh, 1963, Crawley, West Sussex. Two decomposed corpses were found in a house in Russell Street on Tuesday. The victims were Dorothy Rand, 65, and her toy maker son, Albert Rand, 34. They were found in a drum filled with acid in the garage uh, adjoining their house. Well, Jesus. Suspect is believed to have escaped with a sum of money after the grisly crime. Albert Rand lived together with his w mother, a widow who was certified blind and required assistance in everyday tasks. Mr. Rand's eyes had been gouged out prior to his murder. And police profilers are on the trail of a man who committed such a monstrous crime. Police are sinking, seeking... The whereabouts of a young man who had been staying with the Rands a few days before the murder, claiming to be a distant relative of Mr. Rand. He arrived suddenly in the area and has since disappeared. Oh boy. Did he give my uh, friend at the lodging house a bath as well? Can't seem to get over there. Oh, I thought it was on the other side. Okay. I didn't see a place to put the teddy. Oh, oh, okay, just out of just out of range there. Oh, I can hardly bear to look. There's a heart-shaped pendant in its hand. Do you want the bear? No use for it right now. I guess I can run past the ghost. Why does it... Oh, wait, no. I'm going backwards. Silly me. Seems to be locked from the other side. Another ghost. What does that say? It says something on that wall, but I can't read it at this camera angle. Uh-oh. Another body here, or... Inside of the car is scorched and blackened, crushed box in the boot. Was it a present being delivered? Okay, bear go in car. Bear go car. A sigil stone. Okay. Did I use that up in the last chapter? No, I still got two of them. Rest in peace. Is the red ghost still there now? No, the red ghost is still there. So I need to give uh, the hand something there. Seems to be locked from the other side. What does that say? I can't, like, read that at all. Or examine it. Give him a teddy and everything will be okay. This game allowed me to give teddies chat, so it's good. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, look! Somebody's been spilling strawberry jam, making a snack.
Locked from the other side. I see Can, so I'm gonna be chased soon, aren't I? Oh. I, I think he can see you. I, I think... His eyes were gouged out. Is that the dude? Who are you? What are you doing here? Answer me! Ah. What's that? What's that? What's going on? Mother. Where have you got to? Say something. Mother. He's just scared, yeah. Unfortunate. Alright, he wasn't the guy chasing me. I'm sure this will be wholesome. Someone's crying. Oh, help. Where on earth have you got to? I've been waiting for you, waiting and waiting. No. What? What's going on? Ow, ow. Okay. That was not a good idea to approach. An unseen force is holding it closed. Good for the unseen force. It's locked and will not open. It's this. A painting has been hung here. It's all crooked, though. Maybe I should straighten it. Yeah, maybe you should. You gonna do that? I guess I need an item for that. These cutscenes go wild. Another one. Heart's coming towards me. Ghost. Locked and will not open. Is it still chase me this far? Or what? Doesn't seem like it, okay. What do we got here? Albert's Diary. These music- the music for the diaries is so freaking dramatic. 13th November. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of the good opto optometrist in London. It's been seven years now since Mum lost her sight, and though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It will be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. Yesterday, a relative of ours uh, name of John... How do you say that? He came asking if he could stay with us. He was very cordial, but I can, can't help thinking there's something calculated about him. I said as much to Mother, who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. <laughs> say it is just high? Okay. I have been hearing strange noises late at night for the last three days. I hear that a team of burglars has been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock all the doors and windows at night. If you have to write about a suspicious person in your diary, you're probably going to die. There are books about toys and machines. Dear Diary, today I was given a super duper important key, and there's also a murderer loose, loose in the area. I sure do hope nothing happens to me. 
Mm, I better write down that I keep the key in this drawer over here. Just in case some protagonist finds it on my dead body. This vase holds a moonflower. Looks like it's been turned. Turn it. Uh, nothing's happening. But, okay, there's three answers here. I mean, yeah, it's got to face the moon. It's just kind of a weird puzzle. Oh, jeez. How do you sleep knowing there's a secret passage under your bed? Someone could just crawl up from uh, from from under your bed that way. Uh, can I do anything with this? No, I can't. There seems to be nothing else here. Oh! It's locked and will not open. I thought I checked this and I got nothing before. We're in the 60s now, I believe. Oh, it goes down the fireplace. Damn, I love secret rooms. They're so cool. I was watching a video with a friend the, uh, during the weekend. It was like, ah! What's a big table doing in this living room? Okay, kitchen key. Looking at, like, old castles and secret rooms and stuff in there. It was cool. Okay. So I unlocked this. There was an item over there. The door won't open. Even when pushed, it won't budge. Okay. I don't think I can throw holy water on the ghost, can I? I probably can. But I don't want to waste it here. Half heart pendant. Hey, that was one of the examples. Um... Was the hand outside by the red ghost holding a half a pendant or a full pendant? I don't even remember. <laughs> Secret rooms are cool, chat. Fireplace. I mean, let's go back up, I suppose. Reset the room. I once visited a house when I was in college that had a secret room. It was cool. Like, a bookshelf would pull forward to reveal a small, tiny staircase that went to the upstairs behind another uh, bookshelf. Crap sounds awesome. Maybe one day, chat, if I make it as a as a really big streamer, I can afford my ha uh, like a big house with my own secret rooms. There we go. And I tell no one about them because they're secret. It's locked and will not open. Okay. Is this it? Okay, here we go. Just fixing something there. Oh, crap. Plates sit in a neat row. A dining table. That scene. Oh, no. News reporter's memo. Oh, somebody had an important key they had to write about. Found very important clue to Rand's murder. We'll go back to house to investigate and gather info. Got a feeling about this. This will be the biggest scoop on Fleet Street. Newspaper clipping is sandwiched between the pages of the notepad. Serial killer high meets grisly end. May 11th, 1962, West Essex, John High, the serial killer on the run since early last year, has been found dead at a metal plating works. High is held responsible for the cold-blooded murder of several pensioners whom he robbed before placing the bodies in a container of sulfuric acid, thus disposing of the evidence. The acid used in the crimes was stolen, leading the police to place factories in the area with stocks of sulfuric acid under surveillance. The suspect appeared at a plating factory in Horsham, and a struggle ensued. High lost his balance and fell from a platform into a vat of acid, ironically meeting the same end as his victims. Ho, 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 ironic justice there, chat. And then he crawled out of the acid and became a Batman villain or something. Oh crap, go away.
Okay, I'm out here. Can hardly bear to look. There's a heart-shaped pendant in its hand. Not a half a heart. The ghost has ascended out of here. Invisibility band. Okay. What did I do this for? Very dark inside the manhole. Am I able to lift this up now that the ghost is gone, or what? I'm not sure why I did that, other than for the invisibility band. Gotta check back inside. Actually, since I opened this up, I can go back to the fountain. There's no more ghosts in the way. I may as well make a save in case something happens. It's spooky. The streets of London have a killer on the loot. Oh. Yo, I feel called out right now. The game knew I wanted to do- I didn't even need to refill, I just wanted to save. Is that mum? Is that mummy? Mom? you go? Dick's desk key. Alright. Wait, no. That's in the present. I guess I should head back, but let's save. I forgot who Dick was for a second. That's my grandpa. Make a save. I guess I need to go back after all. Alright then, let's go. No more teddy bears though, chat. The teddy bear has been given to the right owner. I hear somebody playing the piano. Something feels off about this place now. Yeah, go away. Where was Grandpa's room? On the bottom floor. That's right. Why does this place sound so freaking unwelcoming now? Sounds like something's gonna pop out in my face, like, any moment. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Okay. There's the mask. Book of Entities 2. In order to defeat a subordinate, the murdered soul which acts as its energy source must be healed. To instigate the healing process, a sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. If and when this item has been found, the rooter power is boosted temporarily. The rooter portal square appears, and within is found a sacred weapon necessary to vanquish the subordinate. Okay. I feel like I already knew that. Did I not? There's still something in there. Strange mask. Another secret room? Oh my goodness, I love it. Another book-filled desk. And stuff. It looks so cozy. What was what, that? Oh, it's a repellent arrow. Let me just put that in my pocket. Grandfather, mummy. Look at these old photos. Film. Uh, is that grandfather's writing? 
2nd of February, 1978. Oh. Are scattered all over Europe. Okay. We, the Hamiltons, are also of Ruder stock. Of this lineage, I am proud. The Ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife, Francesca, was a Ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and Ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. Sounds dumb. But then I found the Book of Entities. Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began my research into the subject. Nineteen eighty four. The ruder powers first appear in a young woman's early teens and peak at age fifteen. The powers then gradually diminish usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. Anime powers. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the ruder cause, before marrying in their 20s in order to produce the next generation of ruders. Nancy is already 18. Her ruder powers are dwindling rapidly, and it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our ruder blood as something of which to be proud, as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, but it must be done. I will watch her marry with a broken heart. Uh huh. It's all downhill after childhood. I have been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. Mm -hmm. I Here chose for her the name Alyssa. She is bright and lively, perhaps even a little strong-willed, and yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy, and will fulfill her obligation as a noble ruler. Uh-huh. What went wrong? A ruder family. So, I am a ruder. It's in my blood. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then, and only then, will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. I'm sure that's the way, isn't it? It's very convoluted and specific that, uh, only girls between 10 to 15 can really be a ruder. It's like Anime Plot 101. Like, Alyssa's not the chosen one, they're just like, no, the protagonist has to be a 15-year-old girl, because I said so. Because I said so. I found film. I'm assuming I gotta take that to the camera in the, uh, the past? May come in handy at some point. No, I need- yeah, I need to use that on the camera to get that ghost to disappear. That will probably give me a key item, because I had to pick that up in order to get the letter. It's important to the plot that they have to be a girl. <laughs> That's really silly, isn't it? To be a fly on the wall during, like, this, uh, meeting here. Uh, right, it was in Mom's room. Let's go there. Or, sorry, Mom's room. Oops. I was holding forward while looking at chat, and I walked into the wall. <laughs> See? Once you turn into an adult, you lose all your superpowers. You are only special when you are a teenager. Alright. Let's go back now. I'll show she needs to wear a school uniform the whole time. I said so. It's my story. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> It's drinking fountain shaped like a lion. Oh, wait, it's already filled. Let's just save again, since we went through all that. Yay! Ah, you didn't miss.
this too much so far. Just a cutscene explaining that my superpowers are only active when I, while I'm 15. And they go away when I reach 20. That's why there's no sequel. Corpse looks like it's been burned by something. Acid, perhaps? It worked. Look at that face. Looks like looks like something from the Twilight like Twilight Realm and Twilight Princess. What did you drop? This must be a photograph from the crime scene. Crime scene? It's the photograph of a crime being committed. <laughs> That's what it is. You can't really see the suspect in it. Yeah, I can. I wonder if the person who took the photograph ended up a victim as well. Yeah, probably. His clothes didn't get burned, though. There's another photograph. you think the killer would take this with them. There's a photograph of an open door with a hidden switch. Is that one of the... Yeah, that's the painting I refuse to move for some reason. I guess now I can use it. Is there anything else here? The uh, washing up is piling in the sink. That's gonna attract Spooky. I like how stuff falls over to attract the enemies. It's a neat idea. Remember, this is a this is a game from 2002. Pretty cool for this year. Let's go in. Oh, there's another one of those. Alright, I guess we'll save. Let's go see if we can find the acid bath murderer. There we go. Saving data. Remember, chat, good teddies ignore that text at the top of the screen. They have no idea what it means and have no desire to learn what it means. Isn't that right? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Didn't expect this to be a thing. It's filthy. Was it just a hide spot? The camera's so shaky here. It's an outhouse. Why not just at that point, why not just attach it to the main house? I don't know. Let's go up. All right, so we got multiple things here. Way down this way. I should check the doors first. Lock from the other side. Label reads sodium chlorate. Sounds flammable. <laughs> Who has that reaction to things when they read something? Hey man, is that that's a nice jacket? Sounds flammable. Albert. No. I came to tell you that dinner's ready. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old mother may have dicky eyes, but she's not on her last legs yet. You just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. <gasps> Albert, what's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it? Warm enough? Aww. It's lovely. So warm and soft. They're about to die. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enough play, happy family. You make me sick. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, smashing all the toys. What are you doing? Oh, dude. 
Oh boy. Run, silly! Ha! Sounds flammable. I see an item over there. That went downhill so fast. Yes, it did. Can I safely just go in here now? Let's find out. Maybe he despawned. Yeah, he left. How did, like, the sun... Like, the sun could have just whacked him over the head with anything, and instead he gets thrown, but with one arm. <laughs> like, jeez. How did he kill anybody? <laughs> he just kept, keeps laughing. Ha 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 Toys are strewn about half finished. You make me sick, you happy family. Can I check this? I guess it was just a memory. There is a key. Toolbox key. Okay. Over here. Okay, that's unlocked. What about down here? He's gonna chase me and use acid chat. Is that Dorothy Shawl? I don't have anything to reach it with. I probably gotta open the toolbox for that. Uh-oh. It says valve control. I could turn if I had the right tools. Oh, crap. And I'm in a dead end. Perfect. What? He just dodged it. Well, I guess I'm gonna run from him anyway. Ow. Ow. Run from him. Okay. Uh, what did I get? Where was the toolbox again? I think, uh, upstairs? Was it? The kitchen? I can't remember, honestly. Oh god, he's here. <laughs> He can't come up through here, I hope. All right. Hexagonal wrench. Okay, he went through the door. That cheeses him. He's gone. Does he also have a teleport if uh, he lingers too long? I wonder. 
All right, after all that, let me make a save again. This area isn't too bad for dodging him. The hammer guy is just like had that big open area between the concert hall and the house. It was kind of annoying to run back and forth between those. Okay, we're doing fine. There she is. Where? <laughs> Yo, ex how'd you get up there? Ah, there she is. Run. Man is stopped. I should be able to get past now. Take your time, Alyssa. He'll wait. Hello? Anyone around? Oh, he made it. Those things are back. Oh, are those swarming me? <laughs> Those bugs are bad, apparently. Just keep going. Oh, God. Can I hide in a locker? It's a save point. What's this? I just tapped the button. I found you. <laughs> All right. That worked. <laughs> All right, I I think I won that exchange. Pick up the shiny. Lavender water. This dude just decided to become like a comic book villain one day. Daughter's letter. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be great. Wait, am I not going to read it? Letter from a girl to her father must have been read many times. Not by me, apparently. What's that magazine? Look, I'm gonna sneeze here. Okay, that good. That one's loud and powerful. I muted just in time. Let's make a save. Yeah, I'm gonna try Haunting Ground at some point. That's the plan. More PS2 horror. And Fatal Frame 2 one day. One day, I promise. I keep my promises eventually on these on this channel. Okay. Nothing here. So I got the le letter, but who is it for? I don't see anything. Ah, oh, probably for you. If I see anything around here. I don't see anything there. Okay. Anything here? No, I don't see anything. Hang on. I'm trying to... Camera. Oh, there we go. The camera change is not very good for getting on this. Just carefully go across. Good thing it's not like that boardwalk where I just fall and die. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> you can't just make me go fast all of a sudden, game. Oh! What? I thought I was dead. <gasps> A 
skelly. Corpse of a man. He must have drowned there, but he's covered in what looks like burn marks. Uh, do you want the letter? I guess you do. Ghost is just gonna yeet out of here. What was that? Binding arrow. I get the feeling I'm gonna hoard these and then never use them because they're gonna be too important. So I guess it's just pick the right way to go and you're fine. Just cross on over and have a wholesome happy time. Just grab a plushie and everything will be okay. This time take the other way. Oh my god. I don't like how I can move super fast there. And then I gotta do the very tiny 3D movement. Wait, didn't I break that? It's just back? Okay. Gosh. I gotta like lean in to see what I'm doing. I'm assuming the long ones are the most stable. Okay, there we go. Go faster. No! Well, that's annoying. So I just have to move fast on that one. I thought I had to stop. That was the rule before. Back we go, apparently. Before it was go slowly, and now it's go fast. It's the name of the game. Walking there is so awkward. Can't... I can, like, barely see where I'm positioned through the fence there. I'm walking on nothing there for a second. Alright, let's get this. I guess I gotta take this to the, the mom. Or the son, one of them. You can hear this. I found you. Run. Panic mode immediately set on. Oh. Well, that doesn't do a lot of good for me right now, does it? No. I. I tried to throw the the, the, the water. It wouldn't work. He hits too fast. No. All right. Go, go, go. Get up. Some of these hits are garbage. I swear. Okay. Your little girl, you have your own destiny to accept. My destiny? You must die, Alicia! Is it magic time? Yeah, it's magic time.
You can just do this, apparently. Run! There she is! I can't turn like this. is for the the limited arrows but also for the special attack how do i choose which one to use then i want to do the special attack not use my limited arrows Stick. There she is. Oh, prepare to die. Oh, oh come uh, on. Do I have to empty his is. health or not? I don't really understand from that one explanation they gave me. I just have to keep oh, I died first all right I I guess I deplete his health I feel like the explanation for the boss fight was really bad there we go yeah yeah continue let's do this again when was the last save at I'm not even sure how I activated the finishing blow during the first one okay good it lets me at least continue here that's fine Still really janky, though. There she is. Oh, prepare to die. Let me see here. Yeah, but the thing I'm doing right now is how you there also bind them. It just doesn't want to work half the time. Prepare to die. It just seems like I have to just damage them enough and then it works. Oh. Oh. So I just gotta play like Damn this for a bit. Ah. Oh. oh, see, there it works now.
At least the second level charge seems to stun him at least a little bit. Once I'm aiming, I can't turn. I have to fire it straight where I'm aim where I'm already pointing at. Prepare to die. Through the metal? Damn it. <laughs> I basically have to stand in a spot where he like won't move from side to side long enough so I can charge up an arrow and it's it's really awkward. Okay, it goes through the thing in the middle. Obviously, like that that's pretty much up to him, not to me. Depending on where he's standing, I can't do it. I guess I'm just once his health low enough, it'll be good enough. Yeah, that was good enough for him. I gotta watch my own health. Uh oh. Prepare to die. I got lucky there. I know these fights are a little pretty infamous for how. Everything about them is awkward, let's be real. <laughs> it's not just the controls. Crap. Damn it! There she is! Alright, finally got one. There she is! Prepare to die! See how long you have to charge it to get that? And he has to be like in this right in front of you the entire time because I can't move. Alright. And now he's out of it. Okay. Darn it. Hitting him from multiple positions with that while he's getting yanked around sounds like really hard. Hit reset. Prepare to die. I'm in front of him. This seems easier anyway. Come on. Damn it. really weird how they use that the same button for two very different actions there. Okay. At least I got him. Obliterated him with magic chat. Got him. Destroyed.
Acid Man defeated. I didn't even need, need to beat Block Man first. Okay. Got it done. Slow going, but I got it done. He's the most annoying boss in the game. The way he moved, it seemed really hard to, like, charge up, uh, like... I think there's, like, five levels of charge, and the fifth one is how you, like, get the chains going, but it's, like... Like, it, it, he, it's just the way he moves. It's like, if he starts to go for acid, it's like, I have to let the arrow go, because either he's going to hit me, or I hit, or I stun him out of it. Anyways, I go back through the fan. So, can I end the fight either by draining their health, or hitting them with the special arrow once they got three chains? I'm scared of what a final boss fight could be in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer guy wasn't so bad. The special arrow just does a crap ton of damage. Oh, okay. I thought it was like the supposed to be the finisher you need to kill them with. I all right. I understand now. I was, I like that one tutorial page they throw at you. Like, I I feel like I needed a more of an explanation on some of that. Especially since it was telling me about things I couldn't even do during the first time. Uh, I don't think I need to be in here at all. This is just... Yeah, this place. I need to go back down this way. So I guess we're done with Chapter 2. Chat, how far into the game would you say I am right now, percentage-wise? Posture check, yep, let me do that. Let me get a drink, too. Make a save. Yeah, his range attacks disrupt your charging all the time. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, now that I know that I can either, like... I don't need to do the special arrow, I think boss fights should be more fine. I wasn't super clear on that before. But it's good now. Say I'm near the halfway point. Okay. So I could probably do this game in two streams. More like two-fifths of the game? Okay. Uh, where was the mom's room? Here it is. We get another wacky cutscene where they go up to heaven and Alyssa just drops dead. I can see. I can see. Oh, okay. Albert! Albert! Mother. Albert! I waited so long for you. Remember this? It's the winter shawl you knitted for me. Mother, I can see. I can see too. Yeah, let me stretch. God, just like, well, I guess you can move on now. Heavens for people with eyes only. Dorothy? Albert? Goodbye. <laughs> Look at them ascend. Goodbye. Oh crap, not again. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> the Scooby Doo guy. Your feet destroying two subordinates. The rudest train appears especially strong within you, Alyssa. Okay. Make another save? Why the heck not? In this game, if they gave me the opportunity to save, I'm gonna save. I feel like if I say no once, I'm gonna regret it. We're gonna meet our chum Dennis, Dennis again? Oh, okay. Well, this is not good. Oh wow, there actually is a clock tower in the game. Unlike the last two. Okay.
we doing the time warp again? See, it is a clock tower game. There's a clock tower, just like the first one only. Or are we in a Bayonetta game now? That's a thing that happens in those, right? You fight on the falling clock tower. Imagine the camera pans and you just see Scissor Man breakdance into this music. That would be sick. Alicia, this is no longer your home. This is the dark realm where I rule. Oh, okay. In two hours, the clock will strike midnight, and your 15th birthday will arrive. When that happens, you and I will become one. And together, we will obtain eternal life. My, my 15th birthday? Are you looking forward to it? So am I, my dear. So am I. I can't wait. Soon we two will be united forever. <laughs> Alyssa, you might have defeated Ew. two of our number, but your mother was killed by a subordinate long ago. No. No! You're lying! Her down! Don't. If you don't believe me, you can go to hell and see for yourself! <laughs> it is very creepy when an old man's very interested in a girl's 15th birthday. <laughs> yes, it is. Is that what's your 15th birthday? Oh, Gabby's will be together forever. <laughs> right now, where am I? Who's the next serial killer I gotta defeat? I'm in the caves, chat! I like how they suddenly reveal that mum is dead uh, in a scene where the old man picks me up and just spins me around. I haven't been using these lavender waters because I feel like I haven't needed to, like, at all. Even in, like, tightest situations, it's been fine. Tombstone is a crest. This looks quite old. Why does it look familiar? Can I splash this one? Guess not. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's an exit. Light is filtering through. I could crawl through here. He said he was gonna throw me to hell. Hell we have arrived at. What's hell look like? Another sewer. My controller is rumbling in this sewer. In the water there. Guess I'm going up here. Seems like a linear part, they just want me to go, go through. Alright, if I get- I feel like this is the kind of game where I want to hoard all my items in case I get to a really janky part and I need to cheese through it. I kind of did that with Fatal Frame 1 and then the- turns out the final boss is like piss easy. But the rest of the game is just such annoying jank get in your way. Oh, it made me so angry at times. I really do still want to play the other ones though. Uh, it's locked. I'm gonna find the key. Okay. Uh, alright. You can refill your holy water. Okay. Make another save, because I will regret it if I don't. Data saved. Worker's key. Okay. Very strange workroom. What is this? Is this a hiding spot? I think it is. When I go here, it's like I'm hiding behind the fish tank. Fish, it must get bored out of its tiny mind down there. You really just had to call the fish dumb? What's your problem, Alyssa? 
Not like he can get out of there. Oh, jeez. Who is it now? Alyssa, you might have defeated the others, but you're no match for me. What is this voice? Die by my hand, girl. <laughs> it, it, it's like a bootleg Kratos. Ow, you know. <laughs> but budget Kratos, yeah. Ooh, what is this music? Is this that new God of War game everyone's talking about? <laughs> his voice does not fit his look at all. He's speedy. This is some funky music. No, she's behind the fish tank. You may have defeated the others, Alyssa, but now it's me. The weird squeaky voice guy. Mom, we have Kratos at home. <laughs> That's not how the joke goes, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I've never played a God of War game in my life. I just recognize Kratos. B3. I guess we're going down to B1. First. I'm in B3. How does he not see me through the tank? I don't know. I went to B2 first, but now I'm here. Have a look around. Will you come through that elevator? How many chapters or areas are there? That kind of is a good way for me to gauge how many bosses a bosses and er, areas. Are ah, where'd you come from? Gloves, of course. Rubber gloves. Post your teddy box. Hang on, I'm gonna post my own teddy box. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill them I'm gonna kill the mood with this. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Just for a moment, chat. Some teddy box. He's throwing that. Raise the lever. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. I canceled his projectile with that. That did not hit me. Get out of here. That's some funky music, chat. Run, run, run! Oh, that's a dead end. I'm gonna die. It's gonna suck. Oh. Hitbox on his attack. Okay, Sigil Stone activated. Run. I guess I use that up whether I like it or not. Oh god. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright, time to put the bears away. Ah. This chapter drags on for a long time, though. Oh, okay. I guess I'm back now, so we gotta do this. I guess I might have to spam my lavender water against him. Do I have the worker's key? Oh, I didn't pick up the worker's key yet. Okay. So I know where to get rubber rubber gloves. It seemed like that door I was running towards had like a passcode on it, so I should probably try going to B2 first. Okay. Worker's key.
Go, 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 go. He can't see me. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Oh. Okay, he teleported out. All right. You ready for that line to get annoying? Okay. figure it out. I hope. I really hope. How many sigil stones do I have currently on me? Just the one. There is the invisibility bit. Again, I feel like I don't want to spam this stuff. Unless I absolutely have to. The final boss is pretty aggravating, is it? Alright, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't think I'm getting there today. Try B2. Oh, nice trick! What did you just come back to? Oh, you we're just bootleg Kratos, apparently. All right, what do we got here? I know I need rubber gloves. <gasps> Where? Where did he come from? I got a crowbar. What's this? Don't, don't, don't. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice trick. All right, I got him, and I got a crowbar, too. He just kind of, like, popped in behind me. Should I assume it's safe to check around here during this floor? That was it, I got him. All right, let's go to B1 and grab everything before it's too late. Whack him with the crowbar, that would be fun. I need to go get those gloves now. Please don't pop in again. Oh, he did it again. wind on him. Confuse his AI by yeah. moving like this. Power indicator lamp is off. Oh, that's just so rude, really. Not as much, but still. two items, I think I should go save now so I don't have to do that over and over in case I die. Did that actually confuse the AI? I think so. I tried. I zigzagged and it worked. Enough. What? Where? No! No! Camera, come on! What? How'd he show up there? Trick. 
Go away. Go away. Okay, left. I'm not sure where else to check right now. Didn't I check everything on the other floors at this point? Where do I turn on the power? Okay. I'm really gonna have to spam the water to get through this one, because I do not have a lot of room to dodge them. Alright, let's make a save. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be doing this game in about two streams, I'd say, based on how long it seems to be. Data saved. Alright, let's take a look around. What did I even pick up on the other floors at this point? Rubber gloves and a crowbar. Yeah, the B3 power switch didn't do anything. Or was it B3 or was that a different floor? Can't remember now. Uh. Okay, I can walk through that. Storage tank. Oh, I didn't even notice this before. Well, this is a start. Let's go. I thought the rule was you can't go near or around steam like that. I saw a ghost. Chat, I'm spooked. I need a bear. I need a teddy. Yo, you all right? What's, what is that doing here? Couldn't have been locked in here? It's holding a note. The message is scratched on the paper. How many days have passed since he locked me up in here? I can barely write anymore. I came in to rescue you, but now I too have been made a prisoner. I have broken my promise to protect you. Soon I will be unable to even record these feeble thoughts. I have lost the spectacles which you gave me. Is it too much to ask for any remnant of you in my last hours? I guess I have to do it now. Oh, there they are. Not much of a puzzle there. He should have looked a little harder. Then again, he didn't have his glasses, so I guess he couldn't. I could have wandered forever and not see that thing in the crowbar and needed to be used on. The ghost is like, I'm out. Rest in peace. Card key. Just had that lying around. Where did I need a card key? Wait, no, the light, the power was off for that, like, uh, little machine, so I can't even use that. Oh, crap, I'm, I'm back where I started. I need to find a way to turn the power on. Is there still something on the head? No, it's just the color of the skull. There's nothing else here. I guess I gotta go back and look elsewhere. I can't use that card key until I turn the power on, which means I probably need the rubber gloves somewhere for that. Cat. Cat. Hang on a second. Is he saying cats? Sounds like it. Just my panic oh, meter nice would have filled up, and I would have like left out of it. They would have found me. Um, check B two again. Maybe there's something I missed there. I hope. Is he gonna pop in in the exact same spots every time I come to these two floors? 
Oh, let me let my panic go down first. Just take it easy, Alyssa. Is it actually going down? No, it's, it stopped. Oh my god, really? Can't run around him in these areas. <sighs> I don't know where to run from him. Did I miss something back here? There's gotta be something for turning on the power. Doesn't do anything. Ah. Uh. saw anything else in B2, though. B2's dead end was just, like, the barrel uh, evade spot. But I gotta look. Can't see anything else here. Good. over here, can I? Nope. Whatever I'm looking for is probably still in B3. What? He didn't even get me. I can't check it. Can he come in here? I don't think he can. Can I use lavender water for this part, or what? That doesn't... Okay, it's working. Alright. That heals me to full. Good. Let me go check B3. At this point, though, I'm probably gonna have to freaking reload. I'm just running back and forth and finding nothing. I can't throw the water while I'm in panic mode. I tried. Now, like... Oh, my God, man. He is there right away every time. Hang on, there's a thing... There's didn't see these stairs there before, because of where the damn freaking camera's looking. Main electric cable's been cut. Uh... Is there something I can check over here? I see a thing there to pick up. Okay, there we go. Something inside the wooden box. Okay, B1 to A2. Chat, write this down, write this down. Okay, A1 to B3, B1 to A2, A3 to that. Okay. I think I got it. I'm gonna remember, forget right away. Nice of him to just wait for me to do this, though. Okay, I can't move yet. You need to stop that. You can't get away! Yes, I can. Well, there's that. Run. I'm about to enter panic mode when I'm done this. Okay, um... This one goes to that one. Middle goes to this one. And, uh, upper right goes to this one. Okay, there we go, finally. Uh, 
I'm safe. Uh, which B1 it was on. Great. Jeez. Oh boy. Could die here. If I can just splash some water on him like twice on the way in and out, I should be fine. I hope. Oh, he's always there. What a pain he is. Uh, am I in the right spot? There it is. Okay, raise the lever. Key card things on. There's some water on his face. Alright, let's just go for it, YOLO. I see it. Use the card key. Don't shut the door behind you. Oh, you did. Good. Okay, then. Yeah, let's refill my water. And there's a save point. Okay, good. We're ma we made progress. Nobody's used it in a while. I have to say, that was a very frustrating section. Like, that particular layout and the fact that he's just automatically on the floor every time you, like, change area, like, that's, that's just annoying. I did not like running here there. Okay. There's only there was only like the one like the one evade spot as well. And the one hiding spot, the fish tank, in the save room, so Yeah, I feel like I think I needed some more things to work with there. It's just running back and forth trying to solve the puzzle. There we go. Is that a bunny? A brand new toy rabbit. I can't be- it, it can't be the one I was given when I was a child. Nothing of interest here. Locked. I thought that had boards nailed on it. Wait, am I in the lodging house? I am. Bunnies. I- I did. I- I made it back to the lodging house? Nobody is ever here. Okay. Fireplace is lit up. Why is there a rocking horse here? Was it a gift for some celebration? I can't get in. It's locked. Nancy. What is Mum's name doing there? Okay. I'm back to the lobby, and there's a cutscene. What we got? Someone's humming a tune. I must be in the past again. A baby was born! Is that you? Where are you? He's dead, Alyssa. You need to know. It's not going to work out for you. Mom. Alyssa. My sweet baby. That's me. This necklace has been handed down in the Hamilton family for generations. There are four leaves. One each for love. Oh, the clovers I've been picking up. And courage. These four leaves together lead the wearer to true happiness. That baby looks like it has a beard. When you're older. The baby is like looks so weird. Oh, you're laughing. Philip, darling, father, Alyssa has laughed for the first time. Wow! Uh, what are you doing? 
To make fun, fun of Grandpa's anime fan fiction. Oh, we're at the end here. I thought this one was super long. Was it just because long because it's really annoying at that one part? Okay then. I'm kind of glad it's over because this guy was really getting on my nerves. All right, let's go then. I get infinite continues from this point, so I, I, I think I understand these fights now, so I should be okay. Chopper. Victims, 44. We didn't even get any lore on this guy, did we? Did I, like, miss it somewhere? Judgment. Oh, he has a large health bar. Come on! You can't get away! Hit him through the tree. Come on! Okay. You can't get away! Move to a different spot, so I hit him for three. You can't get away. Not good enough there. Oh, what's going on? Is this why I couldn't do the special? true boss fight. Gosh darn it, I got bamboozled again. I was honestly hoping I'd be done with that guy. <laughs> okay. At least I probably don't have to go back to that sewer area. This next part, the music is known to give people headaches, so a lot of streamers tend to turn the music down or mute the game. What? Really? What's with it? The 12th of May, 1998. My... my... Oh, it's reading itself. The small hands have grasped my heart and will not let go. But to think that the father of my beautiful granddaughter is Philip. Philip! Is more than I can bear. I consented to the marriage so as to protect the ruder bloodline. I realize now that was a foolish mistake. The man lacks class and has not a shred of dignity. 
He loses no opportunity to exhibit his stupidity and weakness of character. Oh, get over it. The Hamiltons have no place for men of that nature. Even Nancy has been affected by his rubbish, saying that she does not want to raise Alyssa to be a ruder. I can see why his name is of Dick. the existence of a ruder is fraught with danger. But given the gravity of the situation and the great responsibility of a ruder family, the obligation cannot be shirked. Any attempt to avoid such a duty is indeed shameful. As long as I am the head of this house, that man will never be accepted as one of us. No date scribbled, as though in haste. Finally, Philip went too far. I could no longer allow him to defy me. That headstrong act has turned me into a vile murderer. I must carry my secret to the grave. I cannot allow the Ruder line and the Hamilton legacy to be disrupted. There is nothing to be done but handle the police carefully and tread with the utmost okay. caution. I don't like this guy. Like at all. Okay, so it has like one of that that high pitch noise, huh? I I see what you mean. That could get annoying. I'll, I'll turn it down, yeah. So I did technically reach a next area. Maybe next save point would be a good place to stop for episode one. Oh, what's this? Yeah, I'll keep... I'll turn it down a bit. Ghost people. Knights? So I guess this is where I'm finally gonna- this area is where I'm gonna finally get lore for Chopper. Yeah, he confessed to murder in his diary. That was a smart move. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll really turn it down for this part, just because. Um, it's a pedestal where the ruder ghosts were. If only I could save them. So would you say I've definitely passed the halfway point now, chat? Just want to make sure, because it would make most sense to kind of plan to do the same amount of time for next stream. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, that high-pitched is a really weird choice. I'm already kind of getting annoyed by it. That's fine. Lavender water. Halfway for sure. Okay. So I'd say, the ne since I just kind of entered a new area, say, uh, stopping at the next save point would be an okay, okay plan. So is there anything on the other sides before I go over there? Oh, everything's open. All of a sudden, my grandfather's a murderer. I guess I pick a direction and go, then. He killed my dad. What rude. Uh... Let's go. Where's this take me? That pesky Philip, he got in the way of my do of my uh, granddaughter becoming a, a super magical girl. He had to die. There's a hole in the center what belongs in there. There's two holy water things. Uh, I should probably activate this again. As once it's set up. Okay. Are those Egyptian? Yeah, yeah, they are. The hell? What, are we gonna learn Cleopatra was a rooter now? 
Is there a save point around here? Oh, it's a ghost. Okay. Another ghost. I don't know if I'm in London anymore. Could be anywhere. Another ghost. Remove the Earth Rooter Stone. Okay. Letters are engraved in the wall. Read the engraving. Tomb of the Rooter Warrior, Angel of the Air. A painting of warriors with wings on their backs. Okay, I'm guessing I need to take the right element to um, the right tomb then, don't I? So I'm looking for, like, a wind or air thing to bring there. Or can I just put this here? Yeah, okay, it lets me take it out, so that means I gotta bring the right one to the right thing. Makes sense. Okay, let's go back this way. I might have to do this part, because it doesn't seem like they're going to give me a free save. Okay. Unless there's just one right here that I missed. Uh, wrong thing. No, that's a holy water thing up back there. No journal there? Oh, it's- oh, it's a fountain! I missed that, okay. Alright. Wish I checked that first. Okay, then. Checking. Save file. Yes, sirree. Yeah, this is a good place to stop, I would say. I think I can more than- more than easily finish this in one more stream. Two uploads would work fine for this. Anyways. Hope you all enjoy. This is where we're going to stop part one of Clock Tower 3. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.